Good morning, Audacious Church. My name is Hannah Johnson and I'm part of the Young Professionals team in Manchester and I'm based in our central campus in Manchester. So today it's my pleasure to share a faith story with you today where God has really impacted my life. I've had to dig in and have faith in order to get my breakthrough. So let's get started. So hopefully you've got your Bible with you or you've got your phone and you can tap on to um, the Bible there or you can have a look at our audacious devotional from today and you can have a look at the scripture. So the scripture is coming from Psalm 28 verses 6 through to 9 in the NIV. Praise be to the Lord for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. So to gain an insight into David's heart, chapter 27 and 28 tells us that David is in a time of devastation. He's in the wilderness, he feels like he's lost everything and he needs God to save him. So this scripture really resonated in my heart because I went through a time of devastation where I developed a painful bladder syndrome and it left me in pain for years. The only thing I could do was ask God to help me. So through this time of faith, I had to stretch. I had to endure. God refined me. He gave me strength and he walked me through the wilderness into my breakthrough, just like David did. So in order to get our breakthrough church, it's really important that we press through in order to get through. Pressing requires exertion. Pressing is active and not passive. Pressing is meditating on God's promises, rehearsing his truths, seeking his heart and praising him when we don't feel like it or we don't even have the strength. Pressing is painful. Pressing is exhausting and pressing is uncomfortable. Pressing means that we are encountering resistance, but there's always a reason. Pressing is declaring our victory and living in our victory, even if we can't see it and we can't feel it. Just imagine the church that keeps pressing forward, that doesn't stop, that doesn't quit, that doesn't walk away, that doesn't stay quiet and keeps pressing through in order to see our healing, to see our children saved, to see our marriages healed and to see our breakthrough. I believe that's the church that we are. And after years of pain, of operations, of procedures, and doctors telling me they couldn't find it, God did it in a moment. God told me that my healing was going to come through my pregnancy of a first child. And this was only weeks before I actually got my breakthrough. So within weeks of being pregnant and my 12-week checkup, I got to a point where I still believed and I still had faith, but I didn't keep my eyes open to what God was doing because I was disappointed and I was scared because of all the setbacks. But God really taught me just to be still, just to trust him with everything that I had. And even having faith as a side of a mustard seed was enough. So within that 12 week checkup, they found it. So it was a hospital bug. It was just something really simple that had gone from my stomach into my bladder and had settled there. So within two weeks, they gave me the right medication and the pain left and the doctor started my rehabilitation process. So not only was I healed, but God gave me a double portion. He gave me a beautiful baby boy. So just remember that your pain that you're going through today doesn't compare to the joy that's coming. So audacious today, we are on the verge of our breakthrough. Don't listen to the lies of the enemy or the accusations. But what God has for us on the other side is worth pressing. The promise is worth the agony of the pressing and it's not for nothing. Stay in it, stay with it and stay on it. God sees us, he's moving us forward and he is our rock.
we are with you, we are praying for you, and we are believing that the best is yet to come in your life today. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that you are a shield, that you are a rock, that you are a fortress. I thank you for giving us the strength to keep pressing forward, to keep believing, even when we don't feel like we can. Thank you that we can have a heart of gratitude, God, and I thank you for everything that you're about to do in our lives today. I thank you for your um, love and I thank you for shielding us and I thank you, God, for giving us the breakthrough that we need today, God. We love you and we trust you with everything that we are. Amen. Thank you, church, for joining me today and I hope you have a fantastic day.